So one of the more common uh, complaints that patients have when they come in to see pain physicians is pain in a limb, either in an arm or a leg. And often this follows some type of trauma. Uh, when these patients have no other specific diagnosis, such as no radiculopathy or no entrapped nerve, they're often given a diagnosis of either reflex sympathetic dystrophy or complex regional pain syndrome. These two diagnoses are important because they allow the pain physicians to try to direct treatment towards the affected limb. But on the other hand, there's really no objective measures of any type of abnormality in the vast majority of these patients. There have been a number of recent studies published, including out of Harvard University, that have suggested that a large percentage of patients with RSD or CRPS actually have small fiber neuropathy. This can be diagnosed through the simple skin biopsy and by looking at the small nerves that are present in the epidermis. We think that this is a very important step in terms of understanding the patients with RSD and CRPS. It's very possible that as we start to understand this a little bit better, what we'll find is that procedures such as sympathetic nerve blocks, uh, trigger point injections, uh, epidural injections, they may all have different outcome measures based on whether or not the patient really has a small fiber neuropathy or whether they don't have an identifiable small fiber neuropathy. So we think it's a very important step in terms of understanding the pathophysiology of these patients. The other thing that's very important for the RSD or the CRPS patient is that very frequently their exam looks pretty normal and they're debilitated by terrible pain. And when it comes to personal injury cases or uh, malpractice cases or workers' comp cases, there's very little objective that they can point to to say that, yes, my nerves have been damaged. In our hands, many of these patients have evidence of small fiber neuropathy, which can be objectively proven by biopsy and can then be taken back to the people that need to have the proof. And that patient can say, look, these nerves are really damaged. The damage to these nerves clearly causes the type of pain that I have, and therefore the complaints that I have are actually valid and objective.